Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back. In this video, we're going to be talking about triple A. AAA stands for authentication, authorization, and accounting. It's a core security framework for controlling access, setting policies, and reporting activity. Let's dive into each of these now. The first A is for authentication. Authentication is the process of verifying an identity. This could be a person, an account, or a device. Now there are many methods for authentication. The most common one and one you're definitely going to be familiar with is login credentials. By entering a username and a password that only you know, you are proving that you are who you say you are because well, no one else should know your login credentials, right? Another method of authentication is biometrics. Now biometrics looks at your biological traits. For example, some of the classic spy or sci-fi films often have like a retina scan that gives some sort of access. But some of the more common examples of biometrics are gonna be fingerprints and facial recognition. Fingerprints are used to unlock many types of phones and laptops. Some fingerprint readers are built in or you can actually buy external ones as well. Facial recognition is also used to unlock phones and computers as well. Apple has Face ID, Microsoft has Windows Hello. Other authentication methods include physical tokens, time-based passwords, certificates, mobile apps, and much, much more. We're gonna cover some of these methods in more detail later on in this course. The second day is for authorization. Now this is easily confused with authentication because they sound so similar but they serve two very different purposes. Authorization determines the specific permissions that an identity is granted. Permissions can be assigned by the identity, the role or attributes. This will determine whether a user or device is able to carry out specific actions or have access to certain resources. Authentication is vital to security and ensuring the right people and systems have the right access. You wouldn't just want anyone having access to your online banking, for example. You would want the correct authorization process in place to prevent anyone just from accessing your accounts without your permission. Likewise, if you're an IT administrator or a security engineer, you wouldn't want everyone in the company having full access to the entire computer systems, right? No, you would want strict controls in place to limit access for each user. All of this comes down to authorization. Now, the last A is for accounting. And no, this isn't about filing your tax returns. Accounting focuses on tracking and recording activities. Now, the type of activity that might be tracked include things like user login activity. This could track things like the time, date, length, and location of the login sessions. Resource access. So keeping track of which files are being opened and which systems are being used. Configuration changes may also be monitored. If someone changes critical system configuration, this could cause system failures, it could cause security issues, or it could even be an indication of a cyber attack. Another example, although not immediately obvious, is bandwidth monitoring. Companies often monitor bandwidth usage to check whether enough bandwidth is being provided and whether there are any trends in usage or whether there is any misuse. Not that any of you are gonna misuse your bandwidth, right? These are all examples of accounting. By keeping a detailed record of activities, companies can hold their users accountable for their actions. This is great when looking at trends over time, troubleshooting technical issues, or investigating cyber incidents. Okay, so we've covered what each of the three A's mean. But as always, I find that seeing some examples is the best way to fully understand this. So let's take this laptop. First, authentication. Before you can access this laptop, you might be greeted with a login screen. Here, you're gonna need to enter your credentials that only you should know. Authentication is about identifying users and ensuring that they are who they say they are. The next day is for authorization. So let's say you've logged in, but you're not an administrator. Then you try to do a task that requires admin privileges, and then you're greeted with an access denied message. Authorization is about assigning the correct authority policies or privileges to a known user. Okay, so the last A is for accounting. Accounting is about keeping track of a user's activity during a session. For example, how long was this user logged in for? Which files did they access? And what actions did they take? Okay, I'm gonna give you one more example just to make sure that this concept is fully understood. Let's say that this is your office. 
Now you might have an access card granting you access to the building. When you scan your card, you are authenticating yourself, proving again that you are who you say you are. Now, once the security system has identified you, it needs to decide whether or not to let you in the door. Think about it. You may have access to the building, but you may be restricted from other areas like the server rooms. This is the authorization step. Finally, your movement around the building is probably going to be logged. For example, if you swipe into the building at, say, 3 a.m. in the morning, this will probably be flagged as suspicious. This is the accounting step. This video is part of our Security Plus in 31 Days course. If you like this video, you are going to love the full course. Not only does it cover each exam topic in simple and easy to understand videos, but it also provides hands-on labs. These labs guide you through practical tasks like creating Trojans, cracking passwords and sending your own phishing emails, giving you real world experience and making your studies that much more engaging and effective. It doesn't stop there though. You also get a copy of our Security Plus in 31 Days ebook, which follows the course and covers each topic. You'll also get access to helpful downloads to support your learning, a private community where you can connect with fellow learners and exclusive discounts. It really is the complete package to guide you through your Security Plus journey. Check it out in the description below. So that's it for authentication, authorization and accounting. An important security framework that verifies identities, controls access and maintains detailed records of activities. And before we end, it's time to test your knowledge with a couple of quiz questions. So question one. You are a network administrator setting up access controls for a new system. Users must log in with their credentials, have different access levels based on their job functions, and all actions are recorded for compliance review. Which part of the AAA framework ensures that users have the appropriate access based on their role? Is it A, authentication, B, authorization, C, accounting, or D, auditing? And the answer is B, authorization. Authorization is the step that provides the appropriate permissions and access based on the identity. Okay, question two. A security system logs all user activity, including login times, files accessed, and changes made to system settings. These logs are regularly reviewed for unusual activity. Which aspect of the AAA framework is being utilized here? Is it A, authentication, B, authorization, C, accounting, or D, analysis. And of course, the answer is C, accounting. Accounting is the step that keeps records of activity, including things like login times. If you like this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up, leave a comment and subscribe. The support from you guys really helps this channel grow. Other than that, thank you for watching. <laughs>